day beauty queens so today I have a decluttering of my makeup bag for you guys and um, as you can see it's a lot that I have to go through this is most likely gonna be a well it is it's gonna be a part two type deal for me so this is kind of like an overflow of my makeup like makeup that I use and some that I don't use um, but because my dresser is so filled with makeup brushes and different holders and all those types of things I can't put everything where my everyday type makeup is so I put the overflow and then the things that I just transition out for certain seasons in here so we're going to start with this side um, the first thing we're going to start with is this palette this is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This is the first palette I ever had from them. Um, I've had this a while, and as you can see, it's beat up. So this is going in the trash. Uh, and I don't use it that much. It's a colorful palette. Um, when I did use it, I would use this color and then the black. Um, and I wish I could take that black out because the black is pretty amazing. But anything else, and I will use hot pink sometimes on my lid. But for the most part, I don't use this palette. And so, um, not like I use my other palettes. And it's not one of my favorite palettes. Um, I have my favorite a uh, favorite palettes uh, eyeshadow palette video. If you guys haven't checked that out, check that out. It shot exactly like this. So, yeah. So, this is... This one right here is the Revlon. This is their, um, I think this was called like their Lippy Sticks or something like that. But this is in the color Adore. And I don't use this that much either, but this is a pretty color. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep it or not. Probably not. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I don't use it that much. So I'm going to try to go through this as possible. So this is the Maybelline Vivids lipsticks. Um, a lot of you guys may remember this lipstick line. But all of the lipsticks were like vivid colors. I'm sorry I keep uh, bringing this out of focus. And excuse my nails guys. I am i don't have time <laughs> to do my nails like I want to these days. But yeah, so this particular color is called Hot Plum. And I'm going to keep these colors because I don't really wear bright colors that much. But this was a good line um, that they had. I don't know if you can pick these up anymore. I just don't want to get rid of the colors because the colors are pretty. And this particular color is called Brazen Berry. So it, it kind of looks like heroin a little bit. But... It's like these, the formula of these are very buttery and creamy. So they're not mad at all. Um, this one is called Pink Pop. Pink Pop might be the only one I get rid of for the simple fact. Oh, I'm not going to get rid of it. I was going to say for the simple fact that I don't use it that much. I rarely wear like Barbie pinks anymore. I used to wear that. I used to be into the, um, oh, excuse me. Guys, that noise, that's my camera uh, lens or my camera, the cover that goes over my lens. So the next thing I'm grabbing is a NYX color and this is called Shocking Pink, I believe. Let's see if it's going to focus. Yep, Shocking Pink. I'm going to keep this one. I have, I'm still a sucker for pinks even though I don't wear hot pinks like that anymore. This next one is from the Rimmel Show Off line, Lip Lacquer line, and this one, what color is this? The color came off of it, but I'm going to keep it because I tend to use those. I go back to those every time, every spring, so this time of the year I always go back to those. The next thing is the NYX Butter Glosses, and this one is in... This is the camera crème brûlée. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this too. I used to love these. This one is in Eclair. Focus camera focus. It's not focusing too much, but it's that's Eclair. I'm going to keep that. The next thing I'm grabbing is a Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite uh, blushes. This one is... 
Heather Silk. I'm definitely keeping this. Um, the next, oh yeah, Uptown Mauve Milani, keeping this. One of my favorite lipsticks. It's just like a plummy pink. It's kind of like pink and purple combined. Um, I'm actually going to put this to this side over here because I need to put this in my main uh, lippies area. These are all Milani. I'm keeping these. Black Cherry. Um, this is an e.l.f. Eye liquid eyeshadow, and it is in, is it going to focus? Probably not. The writing is too small. So let me see what this is in. It's in Cool Still. I'm keeping it because this came with some stuff that e.l.f. sent me from uh, one of their winter collections. The next lipstick is from CoverGirl, the Queen Collection, and this is called Ruby Slipper. I'm keeping this. This is a pretty... It's like a lust, luster red. It's a deep vampy red. It's really pretty for like the fall. And I wore it like a couple years ago a lot for the fall. But these, this past year I've just been into liquid lipsticks and matte lips more. Um, this is pretty new. I'm keeping this. This is... Um... Laya, or from the Leah collection. I think this is L'Oreal. It's called Leah's New. Is this L'Oreal? Yeah, this is L'Oreal. But it's like a luster type brown. This next thing is a blush from Milani, and this is called Dolce Pink. Yeah, I'm keeping this. This is like a good highlighter. It's not really a good blush on me. I'm too dark for it, but for highlighting purposes, this is like awesome. So, keeping that. These are the Beauty Rush lip glosses from Victoria's Secret. I think I did a review on these. I think I'm going to throw these away. I probably used them like once since I got them. And yeah, they were pretty sheer. Um, I didn't like that. I wanted them to be more opaque. They was like really, really sheer. But I would say like these are probably good toppers for liquid lipsticks or something like that. But other than that, it's not really, I wouldn't really get them. They're not worth the money. And I think they were like 6 or $7 each or something like that. So this is something I haven't opened, but I've had a while. So I'm going to throw it away. It's a Maybelline eyeliner. And I think it's in like steel... Or something like that. It's silver and I, I really don't use silver on my eyelid. Even though it will probably be pretty for like a Christmas look or something. But I'm going to throw it away because I don't use it. Uh, the next is CoverGirl's Queen Burgundy Delicious. Is that what this is called? Yeah, Burgundy Burgundy Delicious. It's like a... It's just a deep vampy burgundy color. So I'm going to keep this. I wore this and the ruby slipper from them that I just pulled out. I wore this a lot a couple years ago for the fall. So I'll keep it. It's pretty new. Definitely keeping this. This is Spice from L'Oreal. You guys know this is one of my favorite uh, brown lipsticks. It's like a brick brown red type lipstick. Um, this is Wet n Wild's Mega Last lipstick and I don't know what color this is but these were okay but they wasn't that great like they smell pretty awful and then they kind of cracked up so that's going in the garbage and then um oh this I, I apologize for the packaging on this guys I haven't used this in a while but this is sugar plum fairy from Wet and Wild, trying to get it to focus, focus, camera, focus. There we go. I'm keeping this. It's messy a little bit, um, but I can wipe the top out. That's it's always like they were those Wet and Wild lip uh, lipsticks, if you guys know. Uh, this is a black opal, no black radiance eyeshadow in blue icing. I've never used this, but I think I'm going to keep this. I think this will be pretty for, like, New Year's Eve or something. Let me swatch it. 
Oh, that's pretty. Like, look at that, guys. That's really pretty. Yep, I'm keeping that. That was this would be pretty for like a New Year's type look or something. So I'm gonna keep that. And then this is Rose Dior. I'm definitely keeping this from Mulani. Um, doesn't really work as a blush per se on me. It is a blush. Um, but like a really nice orange type highlighter uh, or highlighting effect, it works. So that's part one. So I've got this side cleaned out. Obviously, I'm going to film the next side and then, uh, oops, my lens cover. And then make, it will be this side, which is just ridiculous. Like, look at it. It's a bunch of mostly lip products. So yeah, but thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you share and rate if if you like it. Uh, follow me in my descriptions below, and I will check you guys out in the part two. Have a good day.